today we're going to be drawing a tree and we're going to be learning some shading and this is a bare branch tree since it's the end of winter and there's lots of these really cool trees. So I want you to start thinking about a tree as, uh, as very similar to like the human body. You've got the tree trunk is the thickest part and then the arms are like the branches and they're a little bit smaller but they're a little bit of thicker connected there so a little bit of thicker connected and then as it goes further away from the thick tree trunk things get smaller just like the fingers so these are just like the arms and then the fingers as things go away from it also you notice it's a little bit thicker here at the bottom of the tree if your feet are close together like this and a wind comes you're gonna fall right over so it needs to be a little bit uh, spread out a little bit here and then uh, also notice the shape of the tree here it's almost like a half circle some students told me it reminds them of the brain so I could see that so um, one other thing what letter of the alphabet are we making here it's like a giant block letter Y right there and then you've got smaller letter Y's coming up and then smaller letter Y's here and then the very small letter Y's here so like the 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 body is the trunk then you've got the letter Y's that are getting smaller and then smaller as you go there. I'm going to start off, my paper is just 9 by 9 and uh, you can use whatever size paper you like. And I'm just going to find the very center of it here because I want to make sure I have enough room for the tree uh, branches up here and then the tree trunk here. I'm not going to take the tree trunk all the way to the bottom of the page. It'll look like it's going to fall off. So I'm going to start here and then just make a, a letter V to start with and then make a letter V and then I'm going to be making a block letter block letter Y and then add some sort of a root system down there and then now I'm just going to be making letter Y's coming off of each branch. So also each branch, just if you think of letter Y's and then sharp pointy ends on each of the letter Y's. Just like here, there's kind of sharp and pointy. They're not blunted. A lot of students want to kind of saw things off like this, really common. So think about long and pointy. So here, I'm just going to Put a little V in the middle there, just to kind of extend. You don't have to make them perfectly straight, but they should be getting a little bit closer together here. And then each one of that, so here I have another letter Y attached to that block letter Y, and then I'm going to make another letter Y, more letter Ys. Just keep adding, and if you run into another line just stop and you go you can bump behind it Okay, I've got this big empty space here. So just like in this tree here, I'm gonna just add other letter Y's. And you can even overlap how you wanna go there. Okay, a common mistake right now is to tap off all those. Where it, again, it looks like things will be sawed off. You don't wanna do that. So we wanna make the sharp points. Or you could add more and then here, make the sharp points on the end as you extend things out. With more letter V's and letter Y's. I 
I'm using a charcoal pencil just so you could see it better than a, a regular pencil, but a regular pencil is fine. So you want things to be sharp and pointy at the ends. Now things are a little irregular, which, which is good. It could be more regular and you could use some wavy lines as well. Okay, now we are at a good place where all these tiny little branches, think of those as like those little fingers coming off there. And they have some nice sort of um, curves to them a little bit, a little bit of squiggles. There's letter Y's sideways letter wise, even coming down the letter wise. So now I'm getting this similar sort of a half circle shape, depending on the size of your paper is fine. Now let's do some shading. So I'm going to give it a light source where the light is coming from this side. So I'm going to have shadow on this side. So um, with a pencil, you could, a um, handy thing with the pencil, if you have a nice sharp pencil, you can just have it laying down like this. And you can get some big area and you press hard to make dark value kind of under part and then I like the way that looks and you can smudge it and then with your eraser you can kind of pull out some highlight areas So now I'm going to add a horizon line. So like in nature, things aren't normally perfectly straight. And so I'm going to give it a horizon line. A horizontal is the same root word um, as a horizon. So now it's separated the ground from the sky. And then I'm going to add some bush areas. Now I'm going to make this really, really dark. Again, I'm holding my pencil kind of so the um, the sharpened pencil part is way at the bottom. I switched from the charcoal pencil to the regular pencil just so you could see the shading part since it's more common just to have a regular pencil and paper. I am using drawing paper which is different from copy paper that you get from your computer but that could work too. It just has a uh, copy paper as a shinier surface and, and uh, doesn't have as much what they call tooth as drawing paper. So I'm gonna press really hard here to get that darkness here because these are kind of bushes off in the horizon that not much light is coming through. So they're gonna be the darkest value. Value is just the dark and light of a color. So the sky is my lightest thing because that's the light source. Then I'm just gonna make some gentle mountains because I live here in Colorado. We've got these kind of a foothills and then I'm just gonna use my smudge and just push that up in there into the mountains. So I got a medium gray. I haven't even added any fresh pencil. It's just the graphite here, which is nice. And then pulling that out. And then if you want to, you can take your eraser to kind of clean this up. And then it's 
pretty nice. All that dark value graphite can be easily smudged. So if you're holding your pencil like this, it could look pretty scribbly. But if you hold it flat like this, you get a nice even um, texture and it's a lot, um, a lot less work and it, and it looks better. So here I'm gonna just add some tufts of grass, could add rocks, swings. So oh, there we have it, simple value drawing of a deciduous tree. And so what I did here, I showed you the different colors by uh, making the letter Y's. So, so when you think about doing a tree, think about the thickest part is the tree trunk, like a body, and then the arms. It's attached a little bit thicker, and then as it goes further away, it gets sharp and pointy at the ends, lots of letter Y's, and you'll have an awesome tree. Thank you.